This video will cover the basics of how to read the factory wiring diagrams. We suggest you download and print out the accompanying PDF for this training guide from the Rostec website. One of the common issues technicians run into when working on VW and Audi vehicles is not understanding the factory wiring diagram. How does this information translate to what you are working on? Go to page 2 of your printout. This wiring diagram is for example only and does not apply to any real vehicle. This type of wiring diagram is called a current track diagram. Let's build this up in small steps. On page 3, there are numbers 1 to 14 across the bottom. These are the current tracks. These track numbers represent vertical columns. Continue to page 5. The more information in a given wiring diagram, the more pages it will have, and the higher the track numbers will count to. While this example on page 5 show current tracks 96 to 109, there is no limit. On page 6, we add powers and ground. With most current track diagrams, positive power is at the top of the page and ground is at the bottom. The thin line along the bottom, just above the track numbers, is a chassis ground point somewhere in the vehicle. The large gray box at the top represents some sort of power source, a physical device like a relay panel. The two thin lines within the gray box represent internal electric paths, stamped metal strips within the device. The internal electrical paths are listed as 30 for the upper one and 15 for the lower one. These are terminal designations. Terminal designations are used to identify the type of circuit. 30 and 15 are very common and used often. A terminal 30 means positive battery power at all times along that electrical path. Terminal 15 means positive battery power when the ignition is switched on along the current path. On page 7, we now add wires. Most wires will be represented by vertical black lines, but in some cases you will see them turn 90 degrees and run horizontal as on track 109. This wire will run to the next page. Since it is the first wire in the diagram to do this, it is labeled as A and you would find a corresponding wire on the following page with the letter A. If another wire further down the wiring diagram is drawn the same, it would be given the next available letter in the alphabet, B. This can happen several times in some of the larger wiring diagrams. On several of the wires, you will find a small box with a number in it. Those numbers represent track numbers, showing you which track the electrical path continues on. For example, on current track 97, there is a wire with a box that has 102 in it. On current track 102 is a wire with a box that has 97 in it. These two separate lines on two separate tracks are the same wire. You also find on track 102 a small wire with a box in it with 27. This means on another page in the wiring diagram on current track 27 you will find the same wire. We have two wires that are grounded at tracks 96 and 106. They are tied to the line along the bottom that represents the chassis ground. Each ground point is assigned a location number that is inside of a circle. The legend will give some indication of where these ground points might be found. Most ground points like this will be a threaded stud. On track 104, we have another number in a circle. Notice the thin line joining the wire in track 104 to 106. This is a weld point. A weld point is where one wire splits into several wires or several wires are joined into a single wire. Again, the legend will give some indication of where a weld point is located. On page 8, we have now added information about the wires. Wire size and wire colors. Wire sizes are listed in millimeters squared. The larger the number, the larger the size of the wire. Wire colors are listed as two-letter abbreviations. On track 100, we have wire color listed as GE slash SW. This is a yellow wire with a black trace on it. The two-letter abbreviations for the colors are from German words. For example, the German word for black is Schwarz, thus SW, and the German word for yellow is Gub, thus GE. Each page of the wiring diagram will have a color code chart on it. On track 96, we have added an internal connection. 
The thin vertical line is tied to the thin line that represents terminal 15. We have also added the schematic of the physical terminal that is crimped to the end of the wire. As shown, the female terminal is crimped to the wire and the male terminal is with the gray box. So as the information is showing, a 2 mm wire, red with a yellow trace, is connected to terminal 15, thus should have battery voltage when the ignition is switched on. On page 9, components or hardware have been added, gray boxes with black outlines. Sometimes a component may not fit onto a single page of a wind diagram. When this happens, the black outline will not be complete and an arrow will point away, indicating that the item is continued onto the next page. Inside the gray boxes will be wiring schematic symbols. A PMP transistor means this item is some sort of control module. Tracks 104 to 106, the hardware has two symbols in it, a variable resistor and a motor, thus different type of electrical components housed in a single device. Last thing on this page. We've added more terminals to the ends of the wires. Each wire is shown to have a female terminal on it, whereas the components have the male terminals with them. On page 10, the components have been identified. All electrical devices in VW and Audi vehicles are assigned a component locator, a letter followed by numbers in a box. Each electrical item in a vehicle will have its own unique component locator. Even if there are identical electrical devices such as fuel injectors, each one will be assigned a specific component locator based on its location. The legend will give a description for each item listed on a page. We have also identified the positions of the wire terminals T16-4, T14B-6, T4C slash 2. Let's break down the T14B slash 6. T is for terminal housing, the plastic shell that the wires are fitted into. The 14 tells us the terminal housing has 14 positions. The letter B means there are at least two other 14 position terminal housings in the vehicle, T14 and T14A. If there is another 14 position terminal housing, it would be T14C. The slash 6 means the wire is in position number 6. With this T14B connector, we are only being given information on position number 6 since it is the only relevant one for the system being represented in this wiring diagram. Also note that it has 14 positions, but this does not guarantee it will have 14 wires. It is not uncommon for a terminal housing to have empty positions, or in some cases, two wires fitted to a single position. Terminal housings will have numbers molded into them to help identify wire positions. The legend may give a location of a terminal housing. On page 11, the last step to complete this page of the wiring diagram. Information to identify what kind of vehicle we're working with, a new beta for training purposes the wiring diagram number and page number, wiring diagram number 9, page 12, and a listing of what components are shown on this page. This concludes part 1 of the video for how to read wiring diagrams. Part 2 will go into a more advanced theory and operation, other big words, and filling in space here. Also, I don't really speak German, so when I tried to do yellow and black and screwed it up, cut me some slack. I'm a hick. <laughs>